In this video, I'm going to review the Proton VPN. I'm going to test the speeds, see which locations they have, and then test out any other extra features that they offer. So let's get started. Now, before I start, I just want to say that I've included a link down in the description for the VPN. And with that link, you'll be able to check the price and you'll get any promotions or offers. So if you're planning on buying, you'll be able to get the best deal possible and the lowest price. So make sure you check that out first and let's get started with the video. Okay, so to start off, I want to do a speed test on my normal internet connection. And then I'm also going to test my connection with Proton VPN enabled and see the differences in the speeds that I get. So let's just see what this test gives us and then I will test the Proton VPN version. So with my normal speed test, I'm getting 756 meg down, 911 megabytes up and a ping of two. Now I'm going to use Proton VPN. I'm going to connect to a server. So in this case, I'm going to pick something close to me and I'm going to use France. And once I connect, let's go for a server on low load. So I'll go for French 27 and it's now connecting and it's assigned me an IP. Now I'll go back to speedtest.net and I'm going to try a speed test. So now I'm back on speedtest.net and I've connected to Proton. I'm going to press go and see what speeds I now get. So the speed test has completed and as you can see, the speeds have remained really good. I've got 621 down, 613 up and my ping has only increased to 21, which is really good for a VPN. And I'd say these are some of the best speeds I've seen when using a VPN service. So an interesting feature that I found on ProtonVPN is this secure core service. Now what this does is it basically routes you through a very secure server first and then routes you to a normal VPN server. Now these secure servers are hosted in countries with extremely good privacy laws. So for example, they'll be in Switzerland or you can find them in other countries in military, old military bases and stuff like that. So let's Let's say I want to connect to Austria, it will first route me through Switzerland and then eventually it will put my um, external IP as Austria. So if I connect to this, as you can see, it goes through Switzerland, goes through Austria, connected, and now I'm routed through a secure core server. Now you will lose speed when using a service compared to the normal VPN service, but if you are a if you really want to protect your privacy and make sure that your data is secure, then this is one of the best ways to do it. So another feature that Proton VPN offers is a kill switch, which is pretty typical with most VPN services. In basic form, all it does is make sure that your IP does not get leaked. And if your connection were to drop, for example, and then you were to reconnect, there could be a second gap or so where your home IP is leaked. And with a kill switch on, it will basically block that from happening and make sure that either no connection is shown at all or your VPN IP is shown to any external parties. So how much does Proton VPN cost? Now for a two year plan, you'll be looking at $5 per month on a one year plan around $6 and then on a month to month basis, it's about $10 per month. You do get a 30 day money back guarantee and they do offer free trials and I've included a link down in the description for Proton VPN and I'll try to include any discount codes or promotions to get you the best price possible. Now I do want to say although they have a paid version which gives you the 1700 servers, the highest speeds and extra features such as Tor over VPN and secure core servers, they also have a free VPN which you can use and that gives you uh, basic speed and 100 plus servers, which is quite a lot. And of course, the strict no logs policy applies to both versions. So now I want to break down some frequently asked questions when it comes to Proton VPN. The first question is, is Proton VPN okay for torrenting? And in that case, it is okay for torrenting, but it doesn't work on every single server. So if we go to Proton VPN, you'll see that there are specific P2P servers and you have to be using those when it comes to torrenting or your other file sharing needs. So the next question is, is Proton VPN good for streaming? And I would say unequivocally, yes, this is a great VPN for streaming. The speeds are amazing, so you should experience a minimal amount of buffering. And the variety of locations that you can pick from allows you to access loads of different content from different areas of the world. So the next question is, does Proton VPN keep logs? Now, they have a strict no logs policy, and so far there have been no news reports or any other reports that they have leaked any of their users' information. They are based in Switzerland, which gives them a strong uh, 
legal protection against countries that are trying to extract data from them and they have some of the best privacy laws in the world. So for our final question, does ProtonVPN work in countries with restricted internet? These are countries like China, Turkey, Russia and others and ProtonVPN does not currently have the obfuscation technology to be able to serve those, those countries. So like if you are a citizen trying to bypass your internet firewalls, uh, ProtonVPN would not be my first choice. So that sums up the video. I hope you enjoyed. As I said at the start of the video, I've included a link down in the description for the VPN and this will give you the best price possible and I'll make sure to include any coupons or discount codes that I find. So if you're new here, please hit that subscribe button and make sure that you leave a like on the video.